Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's coming up next. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. seventh season it's Dak Prescott who brings him out it's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State he's conclusively answered that question in addition a very strong runner and an even better leader First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Now Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing. Prescott. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Prescott from the gun. Eluding, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Puna Ford, the one to get to him and drop him. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On his 
gives the punter Brian Anger to kick this one away. This is fielded at the 27. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. As Seattle's offense comes onto the field, we'll see a 10-year veteran under center. Guy who broke into the league as a starter back in 2013, Geno Smith. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there in every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Back to throw, Smith. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. That's multiple times now he's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing is Smith. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Micah Parsons able to run him down for a loss of a yard. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Now Smith. This down to about the 12 yard line. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Gino. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym, preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 7-0.
And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, about the free safety coming up and making the big time play. On second down, Elliott once more. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's back field not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage there's Prescott and a big loss here as he's taken down multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss okay I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there nowhere to go outside he had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up eventually dropped for a huge loss Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And he'll take it just outside the 40. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Second and ten, Smith again. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Micah Parsons. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hit him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Wait, 
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Find a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. now. Here's first and ten. Again, it's Elliott. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety foul or a check down throw. Sometimes just try to find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. Looking to throw. Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Throwing again on second down, Prescott. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 36. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why not just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed, and then some, and made that snap a huge success. Jet sweep with Brown, and he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. On second and 11 now, Prescott, they'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. Now Prescott. Forced out to his left. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. 
that's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and this will stay at a seven point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. Now Gino on first down. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Micah Parsons, what a start to this ball game. Still in the first quarter, and he now has three sacks on pace for double digits. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they Let's decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Smith's throw into the hands of Lockett. And some space here. On the move past the 40. Tyler Lockett. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. The extra point now coming from Myers. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The long touchdown pass gets them six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. this drive out on the ground and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up off play action to elliott here's prescott and it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, if there's a certainty in this game, we know that wherever he goes, he's got to draw a big time crowd. Throws in a double coverage there, and look, that's something that he's going to have to deal with a lot in this game, I'm sure. Yeah, they were lucky to get away with that one where it just fell incomplete, but they're going to count on him to uncover latent routes and make some difficult catches. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on the first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it. Occasionally, you break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A first down carry by Elliott. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. 
I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Prescott now. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their coming on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Let's go now, let's go. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw is Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slam. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy in the run like that, you all can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, if you want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. First down, Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Throwing again on second and ten. Prescott, he'll get this out right here to Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Seen nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. And that will wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 14. Prescott and Lamb looking up for the Cowboy first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. <laughs> This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that is caught, but the bank judge right there to say incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And he comes back with one complete. And they get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Prescott to throw it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Seahawks are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you can describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. 
They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goal post here. First and ten. After the interception, here's Smith. And he goes down, and it's in the end zone. Smith goes down in that end zone. That is a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simple, a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. That's taken on the 25. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Kobe Bryant. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, he's got his man. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup, 74 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post play? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How about the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. Pretty clean and simple there, just two plays, a long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taking in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. He's no short of impressive moments from him thus far. And now he's halfway to the century mark. And we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, the first two drives yield a touchdown, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing now is Geno. This is the tight end fan. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. 
Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. down to around the 47 yard line as a general rule offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football but sometimes they just have to get on the run get on the move he was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw okay break. so from cowboy territory now here's first and 10 at the 47 Gino out of throw That would almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Flush to his right. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Gino. That is taken in by the tight end fan. Touchdown, Seahawks. Noah Fan, 31 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Now Myers for the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. Out comes Michael Gallup and company as they take the field. He's done his part, but so far it's been in a losing effort, so they've got to fix something. But that doesn't mean changing anything, the way they're throwing the ball around and his catches in production. Keep doing that. They're going to have to fix some things likely on defense to try and slow down their opponents. But so far, he's north of 100 yards receiving. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. All it to 26, second and seven. Elliott running right. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Hey, 
The offense on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and nine. Throwing, Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gate of three. Second down, Elliott. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Being chased out left. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. This time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. First and ten, Prescott. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kobe Bryant. And the Seahawks are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Partner, I think this one won't arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The Seahawks again now ready to take over on offense. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now Smith rolling to his right. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. It's cool, it's it's showtime, baby. Ready? More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Ready? Now Smith. Walker has it. That one a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing is Smith. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Smith. That's to the tight end, Colby Parkinson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Smith on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. That's back-to-back -back drives that have looked pretty good. The offense was moving the ball, but in both cases, the defense comes up with a big INT to get off the field. How about the players of intrigue that continue to get added as we watch this game on board? Both offenses are a little bit disturbed with how their drives ended. How will each respond now and can even mount another positive series that ends in points for their team? Up the middle, here's Elliott. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, that's all. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On second and nine, Prescott over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in that field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Prescott from the gun. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Prescott. Dancing to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. Oh, Brandon, that's a game reward right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I'll let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. a chance to get right back into this football game. Elliott is in. Touchdown, Dallas. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, they scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Mar now to add the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So this drive spans seven plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run. Following the 
touchdown. Here's Moore to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. To throw again on second down, Smith. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Let's go now. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Smith. Taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game. And that continues with that first down run. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, okay, we'll get you ready? to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Their entire offense has been centered on him, and he's been carrying the load through the ease. 100 yards rushing in a game for a quarterback is rare. In a single half, darn near a masterpiece. Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Smith. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. These are running back numbers that he's accumulated right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Got it. Ready? From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To throw is Smith. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Back to throw, Smith. 
wants the football, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. They'll run here with a rookie second round pick, Kenneth Walker. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash here should be an easy one. Myers' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime with the visiting Seahawks. They're out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Seahawks in that first half. And their passing game has been the reason why they lead thus far. They've had great success moving the ball through two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half. Or they didn't even change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jamone Clark, and the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've got to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw is Prescott. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. They'll need a big play here while Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott. Escape. And he's going to go down again. 
taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. And of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be. Try to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive, so either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. Maher able to put this one through, and that'll get the lead down to five. The three points certainly helps, but you feel like Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And out now come the Seahawks. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that would hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Smith. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Smith now to throw. They'll roll him out right. And some room to maneuver. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. From the red zone now, Smith. Geno Smith, a 13-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. The quarterback run has eaten him up all game long, and there he goes again, this time into the end zone. And what I like about what I'm seeing, absolutely running almost with impunity. He's not worried about his body. He's not worried about sliding. He's not worried about protecting himself. He's worried about getting yardage. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, you guys start figuring out what these blocking schemes are and finding ways to defeat them. Extra point up and through by Myers, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. 
they'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Throwing again on second down. Prescott over the middle complete. It's Brown. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Zeke going to get it on the option. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now Prescott. This will be caught by Brown. And they'll get this down around the 47 yard line. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip. He put it right where it needed to be. And that little extra pace that he had on the pass. That required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball could get on you pretty quick in that manner. And he handled it well and picked up the first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Give to Elliott. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And they're going to get this down to about the 47. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moving. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. The line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now back to the ground with Elliott. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They go to Elliott again, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, Maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Prescott to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz, and he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. down throw for Prescott. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Well, momentary speed move there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas. And they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Once 
once again. They'll go from the 23 yard line on second and 10. Now Prescott. That is caught at the seven. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is going to look good. Keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. They'll try again with Elliott. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Ochina Nuosu picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. The kick by Maher is good, and that lead is back down to nine now. It's only three points there, and see that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the main field goal, Maher back out there to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he'll return this one all the way out of the other side of the field. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game matches that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game, for here's where the breaks are made is the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's here a great go, feeling to go. have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Ready. On first down, Smith. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Let's go now. To throw again on second down, Smith. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Marcus Lawrence giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Throwing now is Geno. That is taken in by the tight end fan. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 18. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. Well, there you go, from red zone to red zone on that fumble return. It's amazing how fast things can turn around, isn't it? I mean, it looks like one team's driving, got everything taken care of. All of a sudden, the ball's on the ground or popped in the air, and whoosh, there you go in the other direction. Good job by the defense. You see how they practice that, too. You can tell, coordinated. As soon as they got the ball, everyone turned to block someone and try and help him along the way. And now set up here in terrific field position. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. And they are in an absolutely golden spot. It's first and goal following the fumble return. The defense gets in the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Out of the gun. It's Elliott. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a whole lot there on first and goal. And that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Here's the option going right. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dick Prescott keeping it himself from seven yards out. And the Cowboys take the force fumble and convert it into six points. Partner wasn't that long ago that when I talked with these NFL coaches about different innovations in the college game, you can see their eyes roll and they, they just shut down right away. Don't bring me that Joe College stuff. But guess what? College game has definitely infiltrated its way to the NFL. Yeah, and so when these guys, when you're seeing the option defensively, you got to stick to your assignments. I know that's cliche. They didn't do it there. And option football means exactly what you just talked about, assignment football for defenders. And that drives them crazy because you have to think your way through a play as opposed to just reacting and making the play. Touchdown, here's Barr to kick it away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter, despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Gino on first down. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. But I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now Gino. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, 55 yards. And the Seahawks will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third.
The extra point now coming from Myers. And that makes it a nine-point game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments for better repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Prescott's throw there, caught by Gallup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They call this number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Five yards remain on second down. Throwing, Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And again, it's Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. First down, Prescott. Back to Elliott, and he's got him again. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to one score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get the ball back again. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. But could have gone for more. Second and four. Prescott yet again. 
He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 15-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. A gain of five, and it'll be second down. To throw is Prescott. Buying time to his left. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Schultz. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. I think by now it's been demonstrated quite well in the NFL that mobility is an attribute. But when you couple it with accuracy, you've really got something going. Able to get outside the pocket and complete the pass. A handoff left. Elliott. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Second and goal from the one. Prescott now. And his ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Mar on for the extra point. Just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Seahawks take back over. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score. But bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing is Smith. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that in at second down. Gino out of throw. after getting this one across the 40. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Get cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. On first down, it's Smith. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 28. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Here's Smith. Going right back to Fan. Touchdown! Noah Fan with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks will add to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive. And now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Now Myers for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. Five plays there on that drive. And it's Noah Fan who caps things off with the touchdown. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That is caught by Lamb. And they work this well up field across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Prescott to throw it. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that on your side. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. Now Prescott. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. To the air again, Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as a tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 23. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Prescott on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Ferguson from six yards away. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. Got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Marn out and the extra point. And 
and the lead is down to two. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Moore to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly here hoping go, for more of the go. same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use it. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big pickup of 38. The offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. Let's go now. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing now is Gino. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Dorrance Armstrong in there with pressure yet again. That is the seventh time that they have dropped him here this afternoon. To try again after the sack. Smith. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he's still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Throwing on third down, Smith. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett, 33 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. The extra point now coming from Myers. And that makes it a nine-point game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a Tyler Lockett touchdown. Jason Blair is going to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and he'll come out to the 25-yard line. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. He's toppled the century mark already, receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to... Oh, Prescott stripped, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And first and goal is what it will be at the six-yard line. Excellent field position. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. There's Tyler Lockett and the rest of his Seattle teammates coming out for the next possession. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so we don't have to anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thought. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. Look to me like they adopted my kindergarten teacher always said, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him 
big shot. He'd been coughing him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Now Gino. And that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play that bad, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice game downfield. Myers' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. Coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it down and punch in the end zone without turning it over. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. I like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Throw left side, complete. That's Elliott. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. throw again. Prescott over the middle complete. It's Brown. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Noah Brown, the Ohio State man, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed. Always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And yeah, that'll keep the drive alive. Prescott. This will be caught once again by Brown. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 42-yard line. And again, it's Prescott. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown. So this game's over. Here's Dak. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Prescott. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. 
And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Got a man in caught at the six-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Now Dak. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Prescott. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Now Prescott. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies. It's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. They go for it on fourth and goal, but then winds up incomplete. So the victory here for Seattle. Charles, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W.